Hey there folks and welcome back. I'm Chris from eyeleather.com and today we're going to do a face shaving video with Cold River Soapworks Selects, Select, excuse me, Limenthal. And this is beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, scent strength I'd call it right around about five and a half to six medium. A little over medium perhaps, but really beautiful lime scent. Um, it smells fantastic and I really like uh, the new packaging. Uh, it's in a plastic tub, but it's all black there on the select. Very, very classy job by Larry at Cold River. Let's go ahead and uh, wet the face and we'll get going. Stay tuned. All right, and here we go with our Cold River Limenthal. And boy, that smells absolutely beautiful. Love that scent. Fantastic. If you're a lime lover, oh man, really nice. And the razor today is going to be the Razor Rock Stainless Steel um, Hawk Single Edge. The brush is the Razor Rock Big Bruce. Oh boy, this soap smells <laughs> wonderful. I am a sucker for a great lime scent. And this one is that. It is really nice. And as you know, Cold, R Cold River produces one of the best soaps. In the business, quality-wise, it is spectacular. There's some menthol in here, obviously. Lime menthol. But not too much that it affects the scent dramatically, so I like that a lot. And this is going to be a beautiful shave, I have a feeling, to get the day started. <clears throat> On the right foot, feeling better than yesterday, so that's a good, good sign. Here we go with our... Uh, uh, razor Rock Stainless Steel Hawk, which has been a very good razor for me. I have really enjoyed using it every single time I've used it. I prefer it to the Aluminum Hawk. This one doesn't feel quite as efficient, but for whatever reason, it just hits the spot for me. It just feels really nice. And now the menthol is really starting to come through on the lime menthol, so... Um, Really, really nice cooling uh, effect going on there, which I like. Not bad at all. Just uh, really feels nice overall. And the quality is what you'd expect from Cold River. Top notch. Absolute top notch. It is, in my view, one of the better soaps out there to be had. So if you're looking to try something at the top rung in terms of quality, Cold River is definitely one you'll want to try. And now the cooling, like I said, is coming, which is quite nice. No problem at all. All right. That was an excellent first pass. Very smooth. Really enjoying the soap. Let me rinse the face. We'll come back for pass two. And all right, here we go for pass two. Pass one was absolutely superb. Left me wanting for nothing in terms of the quality of the soap. The razor was great. Everything was great. Just the way I'd want a pass to go. Just absolutely outstanding. And of course, that's really no surprise. We're dealing with Cold River here. And uh, I don't think I've ever had a bad Cold River soap in terms of uh, quality. In fact, I know I've never had a, um, a bad soap in terms of quality. It's always going to be a question of whether you like the scents or not. And I like most of his scents. And I really like this one uh, as well. This one is no uh, surprise that I like it because it's lime, which is, you know, one of my favorite <clears throat> scents. And uh, the weather's been really nice, so that will go great with a nice, hopefully sunny day today. Yeah, that feels great. Oh, I got lost in the moment there. Um, just enjoying the uh, shave. Not really talking, just sort of like, yeah, that feels great. Nice and smooth. Um, absolutely enjoy enjoyable for me. When I have a scent like this and then the, the razor is just working beautifully. 
along with it. That's exactly the way I like it. And uh, hopefully if you try it, you'll feel the same. Um, I got um, Limenthal and there was, an, uh, there was another one called Prada Verde or something like that. Boy, that smelled great. That was on sale. Um, and I had another one in my cart and before I could even check out, it was gone. So I, had to, I missed whatever other one was on sale. Can't remember the name of it, but I had it in there and... And uh, before I could even check out, it was gone. So, oh, well, win some, lose some. Winning today because this is an excellent shave. Stay tuned for past three. All right, and here we go once again. And boy, this soap came out great, and it, and it is uh, just fantastic. And it's not overly complex. And I think that's a mistake that some of the artisans fall into. They sort of ignore some of the things that you can do with just simple lime. But if you do it great, it really means a lot. If you try to do it, get too complicated and get too much into the fragrancing part, we're trying to combine all this stuff to come out with something really spectacular. A lot of times it's a pile of rubbish. I'm just going to tell you. I've had some soaps from artisans that are so much overdone. Pathetic. You know, trying to sort of demonstrate their perfuming artistry. And if it comes out smelling like crap, it's of no use to me. And I've had that happen, not a lot recently, but certainly in the past. And a few times um, where it's just overdone. There's just too much stuff going on. It's like the, the notes are fighting each other uh, um, as opposed to meshing and becoming a beautiful fragrance. And that's the problem, I think, with some of the the artisans who sort of fancy themselves as uh, high-end perfume guys. And it's not a problem to be very well-versed in perfuming, don't get me wrong. But when you try to get too complicated and you do it regularly, or complex, I should say. Oh, I've got all these, you know, notes come and get. Sometimes they just don't go together, you know. And another thing that I think is lost sometimes on artisans is what they perceive to be the scent may be completely different from me. So they may think, boy, this is just beautiful. All these things are meshing. And then I get it. It smells like a, a tub of rubbish, you know. So that is a, uh, a trap, I think, that some uh, fall into. I'm trying to get just too fancy and too complex and... You know, if the end result is a mess of fragrance, then it's useless to me. Because, you know, I'm not going to use a soap I don't care for the fragrance of. Because this is part of the deal. I'm enjoying, I'm really enjoying this lime and thought. There's some good cooling in here. Um, but it's just lime, and it's beautiful. It, actually, the way the, uh, the menthol and the lime come together is, is actually quite beautiful. And this is really uh, excellent. And I really appreciate when artisans sometimes just take advantage of simple, great notes like lime or orange or, you know, lemon or lemongrass, let's say. Um, sometimes you don't have to get too, you know, fancy with it. Um, this one came out absolutely superb, beautiful, and I couldn't be happier. So, well done, Larry. All right. Let's uh, rinse the face and we'll come back and do the post. Stay tuned. All right, and that was a, boy, that was a heck of a nice shave. And we're going to continue it with the magic made by witches. Thayer's Witch Hazel. Let's go ahead and throw a little on the dome as well. I want to shave the dome here in a moment, but I'll do it off camera today. Uh, but it can use a little moisturizing. And boy, that feels fantastic. Got to tell you, folks, um, this was really really phenomenal uh, lime menthol. If you're a lime fan and you like menthol, get this. It is <laughs> highly recommended. Absolute thumbs up. Great job, Cold River. Uh, razor Rock Stainless Steel Hawk continues to impress. It is one of my favorite razors. I just love it. It is my favorite single edge razor. Uh, razor Rock Big Bruce, not expensive at all, continues to be one of my favorite brushes. It just works 
nice and I love the shape of the handle. I never thought I would, but this handle just feels, I don't know, it's so in intuitive. Um, it just fits my hand perfectly and I just enjoy using it. And we're going to finish it off with a little uh, Razor Rock essential oil of lime aftershave and get our day started. So let's uh, go with a little bit of this to finish off our beautiful lime scent. Oh yeah. That smells fantastic. All right. So just like that, we are ready to roll, people. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, let's help make the entire world shape great once again.